they say that war is hell, which explains why so many musicians have railed so passionately against it. You'll take my life, but I'll take yours too! You fire musket, but I'll run you through! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anti-war songs. Father, I need help. I'm in terrible trouble and I need help. For this list, we're picking songs that protest against war in general, or those that call out particular or specific battles, as well as those that call for peace during strife and times of conflict. We're basing our choices on a mix of their message, song quality, and overall recognition as an anti-war song. Number 10. Zombie, The Cranberries The Irish band The Cranberries wrote Zombie in response to the Irish Republican Army's 1993 bombing attacks, which killed two small children. It's the same old team since 1916. Including references to the 1916 Easter Rising, the song decries the violence that had engulfed Ireland and England for too long, their bombs, their bombs, and which had claimed far too many innocent lives. Featuring an angry, grunge-inspired sound, the sometimes oblique lyrics of Zombie nevertheless condemn the acts of war and violence that tear through the lives of everyday people. Number 9. BYOB, System of a Down The United States-led invasion of Iraq was a source of great controversy, with many very vocally deriding it, including System of a Down. Everybody's going to the party, have a real good time. In BYOB, which in this case stands for Bring Your Own Bombs, the group levels a familiar charge against the architects of war, that those who initiate and maintain wars are never the ones who suffer or fight them. Blast off! Time, and we don't live in a fascist nation. The song hammers home the point about the disproportionate amount of poor people involved in fighting wars while presidents and other leaders sit back and watch. Number 8. One, Metallica. I can't remember anything. Can't tell if this is true or dream. Said to have been inspired by the tragic World War I film Johnny Got His Gun, which is in turn based on the novel of the same name, Metallica's One is a gut wrenching plea from a wounded soldier. Having been horribly injured by a landmine, the soldier is kept alive by a feeding tube. He can no longer see or hear, smell or taste. All he can do is feel, and all he can feel is pain. The soldier longs for release from the hell that his life has become, but is unable to even convey this wish to those keeping him alive. Nobody help me. I've just got to do something. I don't see how I can go on like this. Number 7. Holy Wars, The Punishment Do, Megadeth. Another song inspired by the Irish Troubles, Holy Wars condemns the role that religion has often played in the cause of war. Though the situation in Northern Ireland was the impetus for the song, the lyrics are applicable to many conflicts in which religious differences play a large part. The 
second half of the song, referred to as The Punishment Do, makes reference to the Marvel Comics character, The Punisher. Last mistake. Perhaps implying that the force of justice will someday destroy the forces of war. Or perhaps not. Number 6. Masters of War, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan's melody for Masters of War is based upon a traditional folk song, but the lyrics are pure Dylan. A blunt condemnation of world leaders at the time, and especially those with power in America, the song takes aim at both the military-industrial complex and the Cold War mindset that had gained an unhealthy influence over the course of U.S. affairs at the time. A world war can be won. You won't need to Dylan is giving no quarter here and allowing no excuses in this eloquent diatribe. It's a harsh denunciation that still packs a tremendous punch. Number 5. Give Peace a Chance, The Plastic Ono Band John Lennon's elegiac Imagine is a beautiful paean in praise of a utopian world. Imagine all the Give Peace a Chance is more prosaic, but it strikes an equally deep chord through its simple, catchy chorus. The verses are simply a rhythmic list of labels applied to those who oppose war and support peace. They drive home the message beautifully. Don't pay attention to who people say we are, listen to what we have to say. Eventually, the song takes on the characteristics of a mantra, becoming a spiritual voice against war. Four, born in the USA, Bruce Springsteen. Born down in a dead man's town, the first kicker took us when I hit the ground. When Born in the USA became a monster hit in 1984, many mistakenly took the title at face value and assumed it was a patriotic anthem. Springsteen is critical of the country he loves for many reasons, one of them being its tendency to wage wars without regard to what it does to those who fight them. The singer also bemoans the manner in which armed conflicts inevitably create veterans who are out of place when they return home. One of the silent tragedies of war. Number three, War, Edwin Starr. Absolutely. The use of call and response in music can be very effective, and that's what gives war its considerable impact. Written by Norman Whitfield and Barrett Strong, it was recorded first by The Temptations, but it was Edwin Starr's version that caught fire. A virulent protest against war in general, and the Vietnam War in particular. The song benefits greatly from Starr's James Brown-inspired soul-shouting interpretation. Star 
undermines the song for its emotional heft and makes it difficult to listen to without experiencing a very visceral reaction. Number 2. War Pigs, Black Sabbath The Vietnam War was still raging in 1970 when Black Sabbath released War Pigs, and the anger behind the song is palpable. Comparing generals to evil witches and condemning all those that plot and design war, Black Sabbath makes it clear that a day of judgment will come when they will get their due. War Pigs established Black Sabbath as one of the premier heavy metal bands. The searing lyrics and crashing music make a combination that, even decades later, tears at the listener. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. A hero of war. Yeah, that's what I'll be. Number 1. Fortunate Son, Credence Clearwater Revival Some folks are born made to wave the flag Ooh, they're red, white, and blue War has never been waged in an equitable manner, but in the 1960s and 70s, more and more people spoke out against the blatant unfairness war engenders. Some folks are born silver spoon in hand Y'all don't to help themselves, y'all Fortunate Son clearly and insistently hammers home the point that the poor and the powerless pay the price in war. Those with rich influential daddies can escape service or at least avoid direct combat. John Fogarty's impassioned vocals and CCR's muscular playing make this two and a half minute rock song into a condemnation of rich men playing at war. Do you agree with our choices? What other songs decrying war deserve to be on this list? This is it, boss. This is love. For more enthralling top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.